All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews. Today, we're talking about the Cincinnati Bengals and specifically left tackle Orlando Brown and all the value he's added to a Bengals offense. I think the Bengals offense off to a slow start will only get better, and Orlando Brown's a big proof of that. Got a great cut up of his performance against the Los Angeles Rams with everything he's going to help adding to this Bengals offense. As always, if you appreciate this content, leave us a like, leave us a comment, and we want to give a special shout out to our sponsor of today's video, and that is Mint Mobile. But without further ado, let's jump right into the film. All right, so we're going to open up with just a standard pass protection. Again, you can see here the Cincinnati Bengals are an empty formation. No running backs around Joe Burrow. Here you have Orlando Brown right there at left tackle. And right there, you really can't see him too well. That's Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, excuse me, number 99, one of the best defensive players, not just in the game, but all time. Here you have an outside linebacker that could potentially be rushing the passer. Most likely not. He's out that wide. Orlando Brown's going to check him just as well. But this is mainly going to end up being a one-on-one -on -one matchup Best on best, Aaron Donald, future Hall of Famer, uh, Orlando Brown, starting left tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's check out how Brown does. Wins outright. Again, this is a really tough block. See how he has to step inside to protect the B-gap? Because right now, what it looks like the Bengals are doing kind of a, they're not really sliding protection. It almost looks like they got, these two guys are doubling here. Maybe 67 potentially could check Aaron Donald there. But it, it almost looks like this is sort of just a one-on-one -on -one situation right there. Brown on Aaron Donald, block him however you can. And these are the situations where Aaron Donald has made his living. One-on-one, -on -one, two-way goes. He's got C-gap, he's got B-gap. Wherever he has a chance, he's going to take advantage of it and pressure or sack the quarterback, but not against Orlando Brown. He completely and totally shuts down Aaron Donald. This is why you pay him the big bucks. I mean, that's just putting himself in a great position. Look how quickly he gets inside, then goes back outside, uses his frame, long arms. Again, all the concerns about uh, Orlando Brown throughout his career has been about, well, does he have the best footwork? Is his pad level that great? But I tell you what, all he seems to do is just embarrass quality pass rushers every single day, and this is just a great example of it. The Rams literally scheme this up for Aaron Donald to dominate, and Orlando Brown shuts him down here. Great job by Brown on this rep. Yeah, Nick, and I think that the Bengals fans have to feel good about this, knowing who they're playing every single season, twice a year, every year. You've got Miles Garrett on the Browns. You've got TJ Watt and Highsmith now on the Steelers. You've got the Ravens. You've got a bunch of young guys, Clowney, Ojabo, Owe, a ton of great pass rushers all throughout the AFC North. And when you see Orlando Brown come out and handle a guy like Aaron Donald. It gives you utmost confidence that this guy's going to come out and really be able to do what he needs to do against the guys that you play two times a year, every year. So Nick, isn't this just really great? Just seeing this, the Bengals offensive line maybe hasn't been great to start off the season, but Orlando Brown himself, he has looked pretty good and going up against Donald like this got to give Bengals fans some confidence. Wouldn't you say? Well, it's got to give number nine some confidence too, right? Because his entire career, he's been worried about getting killed after just a quick second or two. But when you have a left tackle of this caliber, no offense to Jonah Williams, who's protected him and done some good things in the past. Orlando Brown's at another level. When you have a guy that can shut down Aaron Donald on your team, quarterback's going to feel more comfortable and more big plays are going to happen. All right, so this is kind of building off of what we talked about the first play. And this is a really good rep by Orlando Brown. He's just going to be one-on-one -on, -one on this edge rusher. We've got kind of just sort of a man scheme here. We've got the Running back is actually going to end up helping here. Of course, Aaron Donald right there is the guy everyone's watching on the offensive line. But you're basically just going to get sort of a gap over kind of protection. These three are going to kind of take these two. But here's an example of what the Bengals offense could be and why they're struggling right now. Because this is a situation where in years past, Joe Burrow would have had to hit the check down and get rid of it early because he'd otherwise take a sack. But you, when you have a guy like Orlando Brown and better pass protection all around you in general, you can be more patient. Let's check out what happens here. Takes a snap right there. He almost feels like pressure's there and he hits the check down. He doesn't need to, right? Orlando Brown does a great job, completely negates the pass. I mean, that's just total domination right there. No chance for an outside linebacker, edge rusher, who makes his living getting after the quarterback, won't even get close. Orlando Brown shuts down the outside move immediately, shuts down the inside move, shuts down the outside move, stops the bull rush, blows him back up. Field. I mean, that's just total, complete, and utter domination by Orlando Brown. But again, Aaron Donald beats 67, running back helps. Joe Burrow has all kind of time. I mean, right here, we're playing action. We freeze it right here. This is a beautiful pocket. 
Right now, the Bengals, for whatever reason, have two tight ends in protection. They've got a running back that's helping that's going to become the check down. They don't have to do this as a play caller anymore. In years past, they had to when they were bad up front on the offensive line. But when you have a guy like Orlando Brown at left tackle, right, it helps everybody out across the board, including Joe Burrow. I think over time, as the season goes on, you're going to see less of these max protections and more of them be more aggressive down the field with guys like number one, Jamar Chase. And I think this Bengals offense is going to really pick up because of it. Yeah, Nick. And I think this is great stuff by the Bengals. I think this is great stuff by Orlando Brown. But before I give you my thoughts on this, let's take a quick break and hear about some great stuff from the sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. All right. I bet everyone out there watching this film is watching what's going on in the field, what the players are doing and some of the mistakes and are wondering, what the heck are these guys doing? Why are they doing that? Well, if the players were here, they'd be asking you guys, why are you paying so much on your wireless bill? And that's why we partnered with Mint Mobile today for today's video. Yeah, Nick, and you might already know Mint Mobile if you've seen those funny ads from Ryan Reynolds, who is also an owner of the company. But let me quickly tell you how awesome their service is. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 a month, and you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network, and they keep costs low because they sell direct to you online. They cut out the retail stores and the salespeople. And now as a special limited time offer, you can get their unlimited plan, which is normally only 30 bucks a month for just 15 bucks a month. That's 50% savings off their already super low price. It only takes 15 minutes to pay as low as that 15 bucks a month for your phone plan. Use our link, the QR code, or check out the description below to get started today. Yeah, Nick, we can see Orlando Brown, just like you said, the Bengals aren't used to having these kind of quality pockets. Joe Burrow used to running for his life. Obviously, he's a little bit banged up in this game as well with the calf injury. He's feeling unsure about himself, but I think what you alluded to is exactly right. He's got to start trusting these guys because he's never had an anchor on the back end like Orlando Brown who's going to keep him safe. This guy has done nothing but be very good his whole career. He's overperformed people's expectations of him. And this is a guy who's always, he reminds me of a Cincinnati Bengal guy because he plays with that chip on his shoulder. He's always trying to prove everybody that he's one of the best tackles in the league. And I think he's proven it here. Just this whole line did a really good job here. But I think, like you said, they got to trust. And if they can trust in this offensive line, they can trust in a guy like Brown. This offense could have really, really big time plays, almost Miami Dolphins-esque, wouldn't you say? Well, because they certainly have the playmakers to do it. Obviously, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Boyd, all those guys, right? And again, just if they can, this is not on Burrow. I'm kind of picking on Burrow here a little bit. There's only two receivers out in the route, right? And the Rams are dropping into his own coverage. So there's not really a whole lot of options here. As a play caller, if you know you're going to get a great left tackle, if you know you can get some help on a guy like Aaron Donald, and if you know the rest of the guys, if you get a three-on-two situation, so you'd expect to win that, then you're going to you're going to have a chance to create a lot of big plays on offense without Joe Burrow having to do anything magical in the pocket and I think that's what we're going to see coming soon from the Bengals offense. All right, switching up to a run game action here. Here the Bengals are just going to run kind of a standard inside zone. So everyone's going to do an inside zone to the left and then we're going to focus on Orlando Brown, but we're going to see everybody kind of work this. So you're going to get the backside tackle Jonah Williams is going to kind of try and cut off Aaron Donald. We're going to get a tight scoop technique trying to work through and seal off Aaron Donald here to work up to the backside linebacker or maybe this backside safety, whoever is flowing across that direction. We're going to get zone blocks here, this direction, zone block here. It's going to kind of end up working to be a double team here with 67 working up to that linebacker here, 64 working to take over that defensive tackle, the two eye technique inside shoulder, inside eye of the guard. Tight end is going to work to basically kick out this end man on the line of scrimmage. But watch what Orlando Brown does. Because if you think zone scheme right now, you're thinking, oh, he's definitely getting this linebacker clear as day. But he shows his savviness, his intelligence, and why he's going to be a big addition, not just in the Bengals running a passing game, but in the running game as well. So right there, you get the zone. The defensive tackle goes away. They're working to cut off Aaron Donald. Donald kind of plays himself there. Right, so you've got the tight end working the in man on the line of scrimmage. So right here, you can see Orlando Brown's got his eyes on that linebacker. Watch what happens. He actually feeds himself into 67, the linebacker does. Orlando Brown, any other tackle that I've ever seen, 
nine, 99 out of 100 would just end up double teaming this linebacker for no good reason. But Orlando Brown just works up to the next guy, and it creates a big hole for Joe Mixon. It doesn't seem like that much, but I tell you what, there's not a lot of guys that have the savviness to do this, right? Because right here, if you look at the beginning and the onset of the play, traditionally what you would get is end up almost like a double team action to the backside linebacker, right? So right here, when 67 comes off sort of early because this defensive tackle goes away to the play side linebacker, that's almost the wrong thing. He should be looking more at the backside linebacker in this situation. Orlando Brown, though, recognizes that. It's like, okay, I'm not going to screw the pooch for the whole team, even though 67 just saw a color and picked him up. I'm going to pick up the next guy to cross my face, the next flow player, and he does a great job in doing it. And look at this. The result is a massive hole and a really nice run. Orlando Brown's a great pass blocker, but his intelligence and savviness in the run game is outstanding as well. Yeah, Nate, and I think you can attribute to a lot of this to the complicated run schemes Orlando Brown had to play in under Greg Roman in Baltimore. There's a lot of stuff going on, and they were able to run the ball very effectively. So this is a guy, he knows the running game, he knows how to block, he understands the concepts, and I think he understands, you know, okay, this guy gets picked up, I need to keep the play alive, keep going, do whatever I need to do. Because it's like you said, he could have easily just said hey this was supposed to be my guy you're the one that screwed up but he takes responsibility into his own hand I love that he moves on picks up the other linebacker and allows Mixon a huge what that's like 10 15 yard gain right there really really big play for the Bengals to get the ball moving but this just shows first of all to me Nick one selfless player here and two high football IQ able to read the play on the fly make adjustments. This just shows a really smart football player, wouldn't you say? You know, we talk about it in every one of these offensive line review, uh, film reviews. Recognize and react. Can you see what's going on in front of you? Recognize it and react to it. And usually we say in the context of the defense doing something weird. Here it's in the context of your own left guard doing something maybe you're not expecting. Calm, cool, collected, recognizes it, reacts, blocks the next player, works out to be a big run. All right, sticking with the running game, we're going to see a formula for success for the Cincinnati Bengals, and that's follow Orlando Brown. He seems to have an uncanny ability to create massive holes with just a savviness and technique. But here the Bengals are running a power concept. So we're going to get down blocks here from the center and left guard, the right, uh, the center and the left guard. The right tackle is doing an anchor down technique. He's checking that B gap and working out. The right guard is pulling and filling and picking up the play side linebacker. We're going to get a kick out here from the tight end on the end man on the line scrimmage. We're going to get kind of a double team right here between Orlando Brown and the tight end working to the backside linebacker. And Mixon's just going to follow that pulling guard and try and find a seam and get north and south. But again, watch what Orlando Brown does here. He opens the hole and it results in a Bengals touchdown. So right there, you can see the pullers. You can see the down blocks. You can see the anchor down. You can see, again, smart savvy player. Look where his eyes are right away. He's protecting that double team. He's got his head, his body, his hip in there. That defensive lineman right there, head up on the tight end, is not playing that very well. He's getting bullied. I believe that sample from the Cincinnati Bengals blowing him off the ball there. He's got his eyes on 53 for the Los Angeles Rams already. He comes off, squares him up, stays on him, makes him seize it, and it's a touchdown. Phenomenal job. This is how you draw it up. Is it the most physically dominating block in NFL history? No. But is it a really smart, well-executed play? You better believe it. This is awesome stuff. This is one of those reasons why Orlando Brown coming out of college, people didn't love him as a top prospect because he didn't pancake people. But all he did was do his job perfectly every single day at Oklahoma, and they scored a million points and ran for a million yards and threw for a million yards, frankly, too. This is why. Does his job, comes off, great timing, opens up the hole, touchdown, Bengals going to win the game. This is why he's so valuable. Reps like this. Helps the tight end out, gets on the linebacker. It's just too easy. This is what's going to be that extra element that the Bengals have been missing in their offense the past few years. Yeah, Nick. I think this is proof of concept, like you said here, for the Bengals. This is a Rams team who had a pretty solid defense the last couple of weeks. We all know they have Aaron Donald. They have big-time playmakers on here. But this showing running behind a guy like Orlando Brown Jr. really gets the run game going. And that is where the Bengals have been struggling early on in the season. I don't think Mixon has gotten over 60 yards in the first three games of the season. I think he need 
to get behind a guy like Orlando Brown Jr., run the ball a little bit more effectively. And I think, once again, it's going to take a lot of pressure off a guy like Burrow because Orlando Brown is a guy who can make things happen. He's huge. He's six foot eight, over 300 pounds. This is a guy that can really move people off the ball, open up some major holes for a guy like Mixon. I think this could be the key to the running game, wouldn't you say, Nick? And, you know, I feel like the Bengals, obviously, they haven't been bad in running the ball the past few years, but I feel like I feel like at times, and certainly in the AFC title game last year, and at times when they played the Rams in the Super Bowl, they couldn't just hand the ball off and dominate people. With Orlando Brown, they can just because he's so good at executing. That's exactly what we're seeing here. This isn't, again, the most physically dominant, but when you can execute like this up front, it just looks pretty, and you're able to run all over people. And I think this will help carry the Bengals' offense to another level. All right, going the other direction now, we're running again inside zone. This time it's away from Aaron Donald. There he is at left tackle. We're doing inside zone to the offense's right, our left, and we're going to get the zone blocks here from the right tackle and the right guard. We're going to get the zone up to the linebacker there with the between the center and the, uh, and the left guard there. They're doing kind of a zone block double team here. Left guard's trying to take him over. Center is supposed to work all the way up to that linebacker eventually. But the obviously really challenging block here is Orlando Brown. He's trying to cut off this three technique, which is really a hard assignment in this situation. It's really supposed to be hard when that guy right there is Aaron Donald. Again, number 99, one of the, def- one of the best defensive players of all time. Let's see how Orlando Brown does here. It results in a big win for the Cincinnati Bengals. Cuts them off, gets it done, big hole, 10-11 yard run. Again, is it really pretty? It's never pretty with Orlando Brown. But he cuts off with no help, one of the best defensive players in NFL history. Phenomenal job. And you know what I love about it, too, is right when he could have held him, right? He's got him. He's got him right there. He could have held him. He tugged him. You better believe that ref's looking right at that block right there. What does he do? He releases him. No penalty. Big time run. Aaron Donald makes a living blowing up these plays for three or four yard losses. He's made a career out of it. He's going to have a bust in Canton because of it. But Orlando Brown Jr. right there, phenomenal job. Cutting him off, giving his running back a chance to hit this hole for a really nice run. Again, Orlando Brown Jr. making the key blocks in a Bengals running game is an added dimension to this Bengals offense that once they get a little bit healthier at quarterback and get a little bit more rhythm in the passing game, they're going to be really tough to stop. Yeah, Nick, and I think this is a real smart investment. The addition of a guy like Orlando Brown Because this just goes to show this is a guy that they can build the future of this offensive line around. This is a young player, relatively young guy. He's coming up in the league. He's in the best years of his game. He's playing against some of the best players. And Aaron Donald making some of the best blocks that he could possibly make. Just showing he's an absolute force. Wouldn't you say this was a pretty, it looks like a real smart investment by the Bengals to get a guy like Orlando Brown Jr. Because this could be the future for many years of this Bengals offensive line unit. Oh yeah. Cause I guarantee you, if you don't have Orlando Brown jr, you don't call this play. Cause you know, it's a five yard loss and right. So that literally eliminates half your running plays. Cause you can't run to the opposite side of the field. So what do you have to do? Well, you say, uh, maybe we got to throw more in this situation, which means number nine gets hit more, which means number nine gets hurt more, which results in bad things for the Cincinnati Bengals. It doesn't look like a whole lot. It never really does with Orlando Brown, but his ability to turn this into a win for an offense, this is set up to be a huge win for the Rams defense. It turns into a big win for the Bengals offense. His ability to do that and to do that consistently against great players is unheralded in football right now. All right, last play here. We're showing a fourth and short situation for the Cincinnati Bengals. You see Orlando Brown right there at left tackle. You see, of course, Aaron Donald. We're always going to highlight that guy right there. There he is at the three technique. Call him a three technique because he's on the outside shoulder of the guard there. And right here, they're running. Once again, it's a smart decision running right behind Orlando Brown and this double team. Let me tell you this. Anyone who out there has watched football, especially who knows anything about the Los Angeles Rams and Aaron Donald, knows that nobody runs right at Aaron Donald. That's a recipe for disaster. But the Bengals believe that the double team with Orlando Brown, again, working up to the linebacker on fourth and short, key play over the course of the game right here, working up to this linebacker who's going to be flowing over the top right here, trying to read the running back right. He's got an eye on Mixon. This double team to that guy, number 53, no one calls this unless you believe your left tackle is better than Aaron Donald and good enough to win this matchup. Fourth down and short, key situation. Let's see how it works out. 
right there. Solid, but not spectacular double team. Look, you love to get movement right there, but to be honest, that's Aaron Donald, right? You're not going to get a lot of movement. The guy's incredibly good, but they get on him to help cover him up. Comes off at the right time. Mixon falls forward. Four yard run, first down. Maybe three and a half yard run, but whatever. It's fourth and short, still first down. Again, this is how you win football games. This is all the Bengals needed to do in short yardage situations. Again, is it beautiful? No. Is he pancaking Aaron Donald? No. Is he pancaking the linebacker? No. He's kind of just bear hugging him and moving him out of the way a little bit. But I tell you what, if you run behind Orlando Brown, a lot of good things are going to happen. We've seen it this entire cut-up sequence, and we'll see it the rest of the year. With his pass protection, Joe Burrow should be more patient. The offensive play caller should open up the offense. In the running game, you run behind him, good things will happen. This Bengals offense, and we saw it in a little bit the second half against the Rams, will get, only get better and better the more they lean on Orlando Brown because he's that good of a football player. Yeah, Nick, I think the biggest thing here is like we've been pushing this whole video, running behind a guy like Orlando Brown is going to take a ton of pressure off of a guy like Burrow. Orlando Brown takes pressure off him in the pass game, able to handle his blocks, but also opening up the running game. They're going to have more confidence in the running game and not feel like they have to air it out. And this game right here is the perfect example of why they need to do that. We all know Burrow came in hurt. He is not 100%. He's out there playing for his guys. I'm sure they're playing extra hard for him because he's out there battling through an injury. But this is nice to know that you do not have to throw the ball 50 times a game when you're Joe Burrow. You can get some running going behind a guy like Leonard Brown. This is going to be huge for this team and for Burrow's confidence going forward.